just looking at how Bitcoin advances, you know, during previous um, areas of halvings, you know, we have these longer consolidations here before we break out and here as well, longer consolidations before the breakout, right? And right now, Bitcoin is likely, you know, as I depicted in my last video, looking for more of a consolidation before a breakout. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin Svensson, and today we're going to be talking about the price of Bitcoin. So in my last video, we discussed my end of year price target sitting closer to the $12,000 level. Now, I want to discuss a little bit why I believe that is a good price target to have by the end of the year and what is the most likely scenario right now. Now, of course, guys, before we get started, you got to sign up for CryptoWatch. A lot of people recently have been asking me, Kevin, why do I need to sign up with CryptoWatch? The main point to understand about the CryptoWatch platform is that once you're connected, to all the top exchanges through your API keys. You don't have to log in to your exchanges anymore in order to execute trades and manage your trades. You can trade across all the top exchanges, any asset listed on those exchanges, all from one place. Guys, CryptoWatch is a command center for the crypto market. So definitely click that link below and sign up for the platform. Now let's get started on the Bitcoin analysis. So first, let's take a look at the daily chart. Right now, Bitcoin is trading along this previous support level, right? This previous support level of the overall descending triangle is right now acting as uh, a bit of resistance. From my experience, when Bitcoin is coming back to range up to these previous support levels after a major consolidation, a major bearish consolidation, and then a breakdown, when Bitcoin ranges back to these pre major previous support levels, you know, usually we don't just move straight through them. Usually we get some chop along this area and it's it's very likely that Bitcoin is going to struggle for a little while to get above this area and, you know, probably create some sort of consolidation within this range. Also, one thing to keep in mind is that Bitcoin does not fundamentally change on a constant basis. Bitcoin generally serves the same purpose uh, year after year, and it doesn't really go undergo any real fundamental changes. And so we have to keep that in mind that Bitcoin generally does get traded in a similar fashion because the trading environment doesn't necessarily change. You know, when you're trading companies like Amazon or Google or Facebook on the stock market, the companies undergo changes. They do all kinds of things. And the environment that the stock gets traded in changes based on what the company is doing. And Bitcoin, you know, doesn't have a CEO and it doesn't go undergo fundamental changes. So you have to keep that in mind that Bitcoin generally does get traded in a similar fashion year after year. And, you know, a lot of people think that uh, you can't use past price history to uh, predict future performance in Bitcoin. And I think that that is completely incorrect. So if I just go to my Bitstamp here on CryptoWatch, click on BTC to USD Bitstamp, and I just look at the weekly chart here. This is that this is that chart that I had uh, mapped out for you guys in one of my previous videos. You know, it's not a coincidence that Bitcoin dropped 85% during both bear markets, right? This is not a coincidence. This is exactly what I'm trying to tell you guys is that Bitcoin doesn't fundamentally change. Therefore, um, you know, it's very likely that Bitcoin is going to be traded in a similar fashion. Just want to reiterate myself there. And we can see that, um, you know, I actually drew this down here when we were sitting at 7,500. And we actually wicked up exactly to what I depicted in my one of my previous videos. And again, I'm looking for something like this right now. I'm looking for more of a consolidation before a push to the upside. And I think it's possible that once we break out of that consolidation, we could be looking to push up towards the $11,000, $12,000 level once we break out of this consolidation. So real quick, I want to go back to the previous bull market here in 2015 going into 2016. And we're looking at the first couple parabolic advances for the beginning of the bull market. Keep in mind, guys, you know, Bitcoin routinely um, has, you know, two parabolic advances before the halving and the all-time high break. And right now we're looking at this, uh, this area right here on the other chart. We're just looking at these first two parabolic advances. And what we see during these parabolic advances is from swing low to swing high, Bitcoin does come back to retest the 618 here. And from this swing low here to the next swing high here, Bitcoin does come back to retest the 618 right here, right? So keep that in mind. We have a very similar thing going on with Bitcoin right now. And what we have to understand is, you know, right now, if you're looking at Google Trends, the interest in Bitcoin is not, uh, you know, is not really seeing a huge increase. You know, a lot of there was, there was a lot of hype about Bitcoin in the past few days. And, you know, the average person comes back to look at the price and they see it sitting at 9,300 and thinking, well, 
yeah, I mean, nothing's really happened. We've seen this price before. But for people like me and you, the viewers here, we look at these charts every single day to try to give ourselves a better idea of what's going on. And we can see that Bitcoin is right now putting in macro uh, bullish structure. And so we can see that this is actually um, really bullish for Bitcoin right now, this type of structure coming in, a pullback to the 618 and a bounce. You know, the average person is looking at the Bitcoin and they don't see anything different right now. But keep in mind, before the all-time high break for Bitcoin right here, Generally, what we see is we see a parabolic advance, and after that parabolic advance, Bitcoin sort of consolidates and has a slow uptrend before the next major parabolic advance, and then after that parabolic advance, Bitcoin kind of consolidates, has a slow uptrend, and then we reach the all-time high level, right? And once you break the all-time high level, that's when you get these really quick parabolic advances where you don't even spend a week sitting at these prices, and you kind of just rally up, rally up. But before the all-time high break, you know, you get these longer consolidations right for the price of Bitcoin so what I'm thinking right now is that it's very likely that Bitcoin is going to see a longer consolidation along this level before the next major rally you know it's possible that we don't even hit 12,000 by the end of the year but in my opinion it's 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 quite I think it's a good target to have right now um, for you know $12,000 Bitcoin we get a bit of a consolidation along this level and then we rally um, up to 12,000 going into the new year that is what I think is most likely right now and I think you know just keep in mind what what these parabolic advances look like before the actual bull market where we are actually you know sitting at new highs right we're looking at prices before the next all-time high here and it's very likely that bitcoin is looking to consolidate most likely bitcoin is going to be fighting these prices for a little while as usual before the next major break so i would expect still a consolidation along this level now, a lot of people are looking for, you know, like $16,000 by the end of the year. Um, you know, if you're looking, you know, from the weekly chart, um, you know, we would have to have, you know, multiple consecutive weeks here of Bitcoin just continuously rallying. And in my opinion, that doesn't seem very likely if you're looking at previous bull markets, you know, you're looking at previous uh, breakouts out of bear markets. Just looking at how Bitcoin advances, you know, during previous um, areas of halvings, you know, we have these longer consolidations here before we break out and here as well, longer consolidations before the breakout, right? And right now, Bitcoin is likely, you know, as I depicted in my last video, looking for more of a consolidation before a breakout. So just keep this in mind while you're trading the market. It's very likely that Bitcoin is going to be consolidating for a little while before actually having a major rip to the upside. But that's just how I'm seeing the charts right now. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and also sign up for the CryptoWatch platform, and I will see you all in the next video.